belong to the biggest diving organization. You can think of them. And belong to the biggest diving association in the whole world, which is PADI. Around the world, we have many, like NAMI, SSI, CMAS, but the biggest organization in scuba diving is under PADI. More than 85% of the diving association in the whole world is PADI. And we are a structure from PADI. So I got licensed. Yeah. So this is very, very good. So you just call me Ben, and my name is Ben. Okay? And I own the shop also. Okay? So before we go dive, I would like you to I would like to explain the brief explanation about the equipment. The equipment is really consists of three main parts, which is the tank, the regulator, and the PCB. And this one in the sea is weight yes. Zero weight. Okay? Yeah, we need to put weight belts in your body mm. so to compensate the weight in the water. So don't worry about the weight of this equipment. Unlike if you do the helmet diving, it's too heavy to the it to us. You're forcing the owners to work. That's very good. Mm -hmm. okay. So it has a compressed air na normal natin in hinga. Dito, no in hinga natin. The component of that air is 21% oxygen and 79% nitrogen. The nitrogen content we don't need that one. That is the most important air na we need to accept in the downward body. Once we inhale that, we need to accept that. Kaya po meron tayong dive time interval in all dives that's happening some flight. We cannot fly 12 hours after the time. And out of that 21% oxygen, only 6 to 7% are of that utilized. The rest becomes carbon So our body only needs 6% or 7% oxygen, pure oxygen. That our bloodstream needs to carry the oxygen in the That is becomes carbon dioxide. That is why there is a golden rule in diving that never, never hold your breath. You need to exhale all the time. Even when you inhale, exhale. Never hold your breath. Because there are not the people holding their breath. Why do you look? The way they are holding their breath, because they want to make it out. Because they save money. Don't do that. Because once you hold your breath, you are holding the carbon dioxide in your body, mm. which is really bad for your lungs. Mm. Because it has 200 bar of air. And this 200 bar of air, can, you can stay even more than one hour. And we're only diving 30 minutes actual diving in the water. So if this gates fall on the 50, and there's an orange, orange color there, that means you're getting low on air. And this is the sign of low air. So if you have low air situation, never, never panic. Because it doesn't mean that you have no air already. The no air situation is the situation. If you're out of air situation, this is the sign. It means you need to go up because you don't have air anymore. There's another golden rule in diving. Once you are underwater, you can go down very fast, but never, yeah. never, never go up very fast. On the upper part, this is the depth. And I didn't have to put that up but don't worry about this, this because my staff will monitor this underwater. From time to time, I'll be signing like this in front of you guys, may wondering what I'm doing. That means I'm asking the my dive masters to check the air of my guest because he will view how much air you still have in your tank. So don't worry about this, okay? Just continue, just enjoy watching the scenery. Okay, and continue breathing continuously. Right? Never hold your breath. And the other one cause is the inflator and the plate of inflator. When you inflate your tank, the BCD will be full of air. It means you are floating on the surface. Here, on my right side, you can see two causes. The black and the yellow. The black is a little bit shorter. So that means it belongs to me. This is my air source from the tank. So the air will pass here, through here, and then it can get the air. So the other one is longer, but they perform the same function. We call this the regulator. Because there's another rule in diving, you should not dive alone. Never, never dive alone. You should dive with the body. Because just in case one of our equipment got some problem, I can share with you. My dive master will hold you at the back here. So that is why no need to swim. Please don't swim like this. Because we are not entering into a swimming competition, okay? But this time, please don't swim at Just go like this and hold your body. Para, plus you can enjoy more. Because my dive master will navigate you by underwater. Awa ka niya, sila mag navigate ito sa ating Today, you're only allowed to maximum limit of 12 meters depth. 
Biar tak, dan biar tak kalau tuh bingung biar tak. Because there are certain rules that you burn beyond the universe, which you need to know and study during the course. And the third part is the VCD. The VCD is the buoyancy control device. This is our life jacket. You see, life jacket, buoyancy control device. It will control our buoyancy. So, this is just partial elaboration of the equipment. If you take the course, I will, we will teach you in detail exactly the way you do this one. But now, please forget. I said not really necessary for you guys to learn because we will teach you the next topic will be the more important which you need to know and don't forget. Okay? So earlier I just described the equipment. So at least you know already the equipment. Okay. Not really fully, but partially you know the equipment. And this could be People will be asking you, I'm not gonna know what you scuba. I know scuba. Scuba you may so paganyan, you know the yan. But there's a meaning of the scuba. And meaning is you by self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. And yeah, they're preparing the tanks by equipment. Hello, <laughs> Almost ready. Thank you. 